okay, what were my goals for this year? It helps so much to have a place where the goals are written down and that's where... Onward and upward, oh my goodness, we're doing it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about our running goals for the new year. It's amazing, like, it feels like we just did this maybe last week, but it's been a year since 2019. Here's my running log from 2019, and here's my running log for 2020. I can't believe we're diving back in, and it's inspiring. So. A year ago, and if you've been watching for over a year, uh, thank you for sticking with the channel for a year now, and you may have thought, huh, I wonder if Seth is going to remember to go back and look at the vlog from exactly one year ago where together we wrote down our goals for 2019, our running goals. So go check that vlog out and look at the comments. It's so fun to go back, and I can't read through all of them, but I wanted to give a shout out to a few and to see because I told you a year ago, I'm gonna help keep you accountable. So here we go, we're diving in, and I just grabbed like five random names uh, from the comments a year ago. Running Otaku said one year ago, he wanted to run 255 at Boston or a sub 17 minute 5K. Uh, Running Otaku, how'd you do? Meredith said she wanted to race her first 100 miler at the Rocky Raccoon. Meredith, how'd you do? Mike D said he wanted to win any race at any distance. I love that, that's fun. Run a sub 17 minute 5K. Uh, and then run a 248 or better marathon, all right? Jeff, this is a cool one. So for me, for goal, all right, I'll get that to that in a second, but for goals, it doesn't have to be time or place. Uh, it could be something else, like this one from Jeff. He says uh, he wanted to be more consistent in his running in his second year back as a runner after 25 years off. 25 years of no running. Jeff, I'd be very curious to hear how you did with that goal. And last but not least, Lucas B wrote down he'd like to be recruited or walk on to a collegiate cross country or track team. Now, hear me out, here we go. Goals, for me, it, it's, it's, it's not everything, but it helps me so, so much with staying motivated when it's freezing outside and dark and you don't wanna go running. It helps me uh, remember, simply hold myself accountable to goals because guess what? It's really, really fun Per, that's what I love about our sports. Like I love team sports. You know that I love like my Denver Broncos and and watching them and cheering them on. But as a runner, um, we hold like it's it's us. It really comes down to our own inner drive to chase down goals, and it comes down to as Jeff said, the consistency in our training, the commitment to our training, and uh, so anyway, that's why I love goals and being very specific in my goals, okay? So here's a little throwback to a clip from that vlog one year ago where we wrote them out in the comments. Running goals, running goals, running goals. I don't know about you all, but I love the new year. I love the new year. It's a fresh start, and I know it's just like connected to the calendar and how the calendar was set up centuries ago, but it's just like it's a fresh start to our lives. And I realize New Year's resolutions very rarely stick with people. Like it's, you know, they often fall by the wayside, but I must say, I set five goals in 2018 upper right hand corner we talked about that last week and by the way thank you everyone that chimed into that vlog and shared about your running goals for 2018 well now we get to look to the future what's beautiful is that now i have record of saying this to you i can go back maybe once a quarter uh you know at the end of my first training block and just check in rewatch this video and just see how i'm doing on moving toward those goals and you can help keep me accountable because you're listening to them right now but the beautiful thing is that in one year from now one year from now we can all go back and revisit this video you can watch it if you want, but more importantly, you can go back down into the comments down below because of course you know what the keyword is. It's goals and the question of the day. From that vlog one year ago, you all know how I like to look to the past in order to prepare for the future. Learning from my, my ups and downs in training and racing in 2019 before looking to 2020. So here we go. I had six goals laid out for 2019. Number one, plyometrics. So I'm actually going to say I failed on this goal number one from 2019. 
I did plyometrics, but I was not consistent enough. Um, so I'm not gonna get into what are plyometrics, uh, but that goal was goal number one, failed, okay? And I'm gonna be pretty, I'm gonna be very honest, not pretty honest, very honest with myself in order to be more realistic and more um, accountable to myself in 2020, okay? So that was goal number one. Goal number two, hit 400,000 vertical feet, failed. I did not reach that goal. That was a carryover goal from 2018, actually. I did not meet it in 2019 either. We'll get to what I actually hit here in a second. Um, goal number three, I wanted to run two FKTs, fastest known times on 14ers here in Colorado. Those are the 14,000 foot mountains we have here in Colorado. I did it. I accomplished that goal, Mount Gale and Torrey's Peak. Those were the two peaks where I set FKTs in 2019. Feels good to hit that goal. Um, and the Mount Yale one, I snagged it from uh, Sage Canada, who many of you know who he is from YouTube as well. Okay, goal number four, uh, start the running group in Denver and on Strava. I'm actually gonna give myself a 50-50 on this one. We did not start a running group where we meet every, let's say, week. I think my goal was every other week or even every week to meet up with all of you. I realized that was not realistic with my schedule. So that was that did not happen, but we definitely got the group going on Strava. That's going real strong. And then also the Facebook group. So I would say that was 50-50 for that goal. But the group runs at the races around the world. I think that helps supplement that goal for goal number four. So it's I'm gonna give myself a 50-50 on goal number four. Goal number five, win another race. I think I snagged three victories in 2019. That feels good. The uh, Cookie Chase 5K, the Cirque Race out in Utah, and then the uh, Rendezvous Mountain Hill Climb um, uh, here in, no, up in uh, Wyoming. So that was goal number five. Goal number six, race a road marathon at sea level. Boom, completed that one as well. So what did I do? One, two, uh, three. So I got, I'm just gonna say three out of six goals, kind of three and a half with the group run one. Um, so I missed three goals and hit three goals. I actually feel pretty good about that because in 2018, I actually had five goals and I only hit one of them. So I feel pretty good about those 2019 goals. And here it is a little recap on the screen right now of my stats from Strava. In 2019, the vertical gain, the mileage. So the mileage was about 3,100, 3,200 miles. I feel good about that number. I actually was hoping to go even higher than that, but because of the foot injury back in April, that didn't happen going into the Cleveland Marathon. That's okay. Um, and that was a good jump for volume of training for me, which I'm not surprised that it happened because I was preparing for my first marathon. And then the vertical gain, my goal was 400,000. I did not hit it, but I did get pretty good. I, I hit 327,000 vertical feet. And compared to 2018, it was about 2,000 feet more. That was kind of fun to beat my 2018 vertical gain and loss. And uh, that number will definitely drop in 2020 as I shift a little bit from the mountains to the road racing. So there you have it. Those are my 2019 goals, learning from them and looking to the future. You ready for this? Here are my six goals for 2020 before we get to the question of the, question of the day with your goals. Here we go. Number one. I want to be a healthier runner in 2020, which I think all of us want to be healthier. But what I mean is honing in. Even So I think I did really well with foam rolling, stretching, massaging um, in 2019. But now I'm learning so much from physical therapy, which maybe this is like all meant to be with this injury, this running, this knee injury that I'm going through right now so that I can prepare right now for 2020 through the hip strengthening, through everything I'm learning at the physical therapy office that I'm gonna to apply to my routine in 2020. So a healthier runner in 2020 is my goal number one. Um, not just, like, and that doesn't mean, like I'm, you know, injuries happen, but being more proactive right from the outset, um, again, going to physical therapy and applying it to the rest of the year. Okay, goal number two. I want to do three FKTs on 14ers here in Colorado. So Mount Princeton, Mount Princeton, Mount Elbert, and then a third one that is undecided. If you have any ideas for me, let me know down in the comments. Um, so three FKTs on 14ers in Colorado in 2020. Goal number three, here we go. Set a half marathon PR, actually in a half marathon race. So beat my half marathon uh, from Amsterdam in a, in a race 
in 2020, okay? So that is my goal for uh, goal number three. Goal number four, set a marathon PR, okay? So beat my time from Amsterdam once, once again. Goal number five, I wanna win a race, but I'm gonna be very specific here. I wanna win a race, whether it's the Pikes Peak Ascent or the Pikes Peak Marathon. I'm not afraid to say it. I think it's fun. It makes, it motivates me. It keeps me really dialed in. So that'll be my goal. My goal number five is to win a race, but actually win um, either the Pikes Peak Ascent or the Pikes Peak Marathon. Capiche? Sound good? And goal number six, I want to do six group runs with all of you, whether they're at races or here in Denver locally. Okay. Six group runs, whether, you know, around the world, wherever I end up or here in Denver. Sound good? Those are my goals for 2020. It's gonna be an amazing year. Question of the day, what goals do you have for your running in 2020? Whether it's training, whether it's racing, whether it's uh, eating healthier, there's so many, so many different ways you can answer this question of the day. And again, here's the, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker, everybody. If you could save this link and then you can go back throughout the year. So what I do is every every uh, April 1st, July 1st, October 1st is come back to this vlog. That's what I did this past year. And I reflected back on, okay, what were my goals for this year? It helps so much to have a place where the goals are written down. And that's where the comments are for. I believe if we work together on Strava, on Facebook, and down in the comments together where we're bouncing ideas off of each other, helping each other work through injuries, making sure we're, we're dialed into our shoes that are, you know, shoes that actually work for us. Um, and that's where I'm gonna continue to do my best to test as many as possible for all of you so I can be dialed in like, okay, this shoe, this shoe is popping in 2020. This shoe, now pass on this shoe in 2020. So we're gonna work together. We're gonna reach these goals. Um, I don't know, like I have six goals in 2020. I'm really, I'm really hope. And why six? No particular reason. It just kind of is a number that comes naturally that I feel like is not too much um, that I can, but it's not too easy either. Does that make sense? So I know I'm gonna revisit this vlog a lot in 2020 and that is that. Oh, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Onward and upward. January 1st is almost here. Let's go get it. And all right, we're tossing it back on the right to, of course, the 2019 gold vlog that'll be on the right. And if you, again, if you haven't seen it, I go check it out, especially if you've been watching for over a year. And then I think I also did one for 2018. So two years ago, that'll be on the left. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Come on now.